and dream on. I'm not saying it's why you struggled tonight by any means, but I found listening to your podcast recaps the last couple of games pretty interesting. Are you conscious at all of what you're saying about the X's and O's, the game plans, the adjustments could be making their way back to Boston staffers and influencing their decision making at all? No. Um, I don't say much different on the podcast than I say to you right here. So, nah. What's the X's and O's that I said on the podcast? You all right? Yeah, actually, asked, the only real thing I, I noticed that like, really stood out was you talked about how to cover White, Smart, and Horford differently between games one and two. That was really only. Oh, yeah, that was just contesting shots. That, if that's X's and O's, then I don't. You reaching for something, it's all good, though. Keep going. <laughs> reaching heavy. The only thing, do you find that they are taking X's and O's away from your, your podcast? Uh, well, the only thing you said is um, White, Smart, and Horford. Hmm. I'm not trying to blow it up. I just, nah, I mean, you, you went for it, but yeah. hey, respect. Appreciate the podcast yeah. uh, promo you just gave you me, though. It, the Draymond Green Show. You Next time, just mention it that way. You got it. All right, bet. Monty, how much X's and O's you get from the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, this guy, hey, I don't know, man. Maybe that's the IQ level over this way. <laughs> Shit. Respect. Okay. You got something else, Monty? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. We like to play by the term making them play left-handed, and I don't think we did that tonight. So, um, uh, Jake Fisher, just an FYI, that's, a, that's like a reference to something, making somebody play left-hand. That's not really X's and O's, like literally make them drive left. But uh, we like to make teams play left-hand, and, and we didn't do that tonight.